Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so I believe he can has data mined some news that are that is gonna be coming to the game in a month or so time. I'm not exactly sure exactly when, but according to this, the future of Brave Souls. More characters from the Bleach TV animation series, that's important to say Bleach Animation. So most likely they the banners that will be coming out later on in the future is going to be part of TYBW's anime. So it's to be determined whether or not um, if it's for Core 1 or Core 2. But basically, it still confirms that we're going to be getting more Thousand Year Blood War banners. It's not just a one and done with the anniversary banner and then probably a part two and then that's it. Hopefully, they drop one every month or every other month. I think that would be a really healthy way to keep the hype going. So that way, it's like, oh, I don't really want to, you know summon on this terrible premium banner i'm just gonna wait till a thousand year blood war banner drops at either end of the month or the next not the next month so hopefully and also it says new faces um right uh, okay i guess it doesn't confirm that it's new faces but more characters so in retrospect i'm assuming that's gonna be characters like as not uh quill you know i guess grammy's already in the game but you know i wouldn't mind an actual good grammy <laughs> Um, but yeah, you know, Asnot, Kulge, uh, some of the other exterminators, I can't actually think of their names because I don't see them on the screen and I can't remember all their names. There's like 30 of them. We'll continue to share the latest information about Bleach in game and we hope that Brave Souls remains a place for Bleach lovers of the world to gather. So that's one bit of news. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we have the part two of the data mine. Um, improvements to come. We are currently considering implementing the following changes to make an even more friendly environment where players can more easily enjoy the game together honestly all these sound like an absolute positive so i'm all for it uh first one at hand thousand year blood war story now i wasn't around when they actually added this but i believe there was some sort of event or something along those lines of a thousand year blood war story i joined around sixth anniversary i want to say it was like around fourth or fifth years when it actually was added so i unfortunately missed it but I'm going to assume, uh, as Aaron Arrow said, that they should, if they do implement more actual story and it's not just an event, you should also get the new orbs for that as well, since I assume it would be new. I, I would assume. That'd be kind of lame if they didn't. But uh, yeah, we'll be adding the Thousand Year Blood War story to the story. The Thousand Year Blood War to the story. These additions will be announced in separate notices. Yeah, so there's no actual confirmed date as to when these are coming because these are just leaks for news events that are coming out. So probably within the next few weeks, we'll see this. Maybe like the beginning of August, maybe the middle of August, somewhere around there. Yeah, August, yeah. Second part, multi-power up for characters and accessories. This has already been confirmed. Uh, I believe it will be coming around uh, August. I want it now, but thankfully I don't have that many characters to level up. But when I was leveling up characters, this was a hassle and a half. Oh my lordy, it was rough. Um, we plan to add a multi-power up function so that players don't have to visit the soul tree, level up, and ascend screens every single time they want to power up their characters. We hope that this addition will make powering up your characters a smoother process. It definitely will. It will help newer players especially, and people who have just been keeping their units like level 150. I hate level 150 units, I don't understand the purpose of it. it they probably have at least a useful link or something. So I just level 200 of them immediately, except for the units I'm saving orbs, because otherwise I would spend all my orbs on this banner. Next thing is new ranks and battle power. We plan to add fi ranks 51 and above as well as a means of seeing the total stats of your six star characters to bring a sense of accomplishment after powering up your characters. So I don't know exactly what this means, but I it, it could be a thing like Grand Cross, like CC, where you just try to build up your overall stats. Um, I know that like in Grand Cross, attack and defense counts as like one towards your overall CC, and then I believe your HP is like a fourth or something or some sort of like that, and then you add up your entire team, and then that calculates your overall CC. And in this game, I don't think it's going to be that bad, considering it would just be like a leaderboard thing. I think it will be fine. Hopefully, it doesn't play into GQ or anything. It's just more like a, hey, here's a big flex. I have the highest battle power. Come at me. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't actually bring some sort of pay-to-win elements to the game my opinion because grand cross has kind of killed them guild quest improvements we're currently considering changes to improve the rewards and a point accumulation system in guild quest and offer an all new experience to players this has already been shown as well on the bankai live stream that they are uh, considering removing like the brushes and stuff i i don't really care for brushes like realistically you don't even get that many brushes from guild quest it just kind of fills up your slot and you're like i wish that was orbs or tickets 
you know there's brawl now there's seven c uh pvp where you can just do the co-op event or whatever where you can just farm brushes so I, I i don't see a point for them being a guild quest anymore hopefully they just make higher rates for orbs you get more orbs it'll probably be useless four star tickets that you never pull anything from but it's better than the brushes to be honest and then at the very bottom we have anti-misconduct measures so you can now actually report people hopefully just by where it says like you know invite to guild or add friend or anything it should just be right there where you can report them there are so many modders in arena it's brutal i had somebody literally load into my game and the game in 10 seconds they had like 40,000 score and i lost i was like that's cool i guess so yeah basically just ruined arena i still play it though but it's still brutal when those matches happen especially when they make it take so long because they get so many score steals it never ends but yeah that is pretty much it but i want to refer back to the first point i'm super excited for this one because i would love to see i know there's candace in the game but giselle um mel meninas is that the tall pink lady i believe that's who it is um i'm trying to think of all the other stern readers that like there's kang do or something like that the guy that fought toshiro in the latest episode I haven't actually watched i just seen the trailer you kind of fight him imagine they add like the soul king just a floating head who knows they can do anything they want but i'm really excited for it hopefully you guys are too let me know down below who is your most anticipated character that does not have a single character in the game or a form so like um ichigo a f actual f horn of salvation ichigo imagine imagine anyways let me know down below take care and peace out